Hi, welcome to 20 Christmas Ideas with Gourmet Quilter. This is part of the 2020 Tasty Treats. We're doing 20 different Christmas suggestions of things you might like to make um, to use during the Christmas time or decorative type things. Um, and we're up to idea number 17, so we are well into it now. So we've got lots of ornaments and things happening. We've got little sitting birds happening. We've got so many things happening. This time we're going to make a fun stocking. So it's just a, a, a simple Christmas stocking with a little hanging loop. It's not a very large Christmas stocking. However, it's probably about the size I had when I was a child. I know because we used to get a mandarin stuffed in the end of our stocking and we had a few little gifts and things in there and that will hold all of those things. So that will probably about be about the size. However, it's a fun size one. These days they have got bigger stockings, have you noticed? We now have pillowcases and sacks even. Oh my goodness, we're making one of these today. So simple, you could actually applique on it. It could have some stars, it could have a little name, it could have a little bird, it could have any number of things um, around on that little cuff. But we're just doing a nice stripey one. So I'm making a different colour one but still with a stripe on it. So I've cut everything out, there is a pattern, um, I've cut out my shapes and I've joined them together to get my stocking shape. There's a pattern on GourmetQuilter.com in case you're interested um, with some more information. Um, other than that, we'll keep going. So I'm making the cuff out of the black and white stripe this time instead of the red and white. And we're having a green stocking. So I thought that would be kind of fun. So I've cut out, we've cut out a batting piece to go into the cuff. I've cut out batting for both sides of the stocking and I've cut out a lining. We're going to have a nice grey lining. And the cuff has a, a backing on it as well, so it's the same as this one here. So what we need is a piece of batting, we need the cuff, and we need the cuff lining piece. And we're going to place them right sides together and we're going to just stitch along that line to join that. Pretty super simple this stocking, it's kind of a good one to make if you need to make things in a bit of a hurry or if you just need to make a lot of them or if you just need to make a stocking. It doesn't have to be a hurry. So we'll just get this stitched. And then we're going to press this seam so so we hit it right sides together so we're just pressing that lining one way and now we just need to turn that into a tube because we make it into a tube before we attach it to the stocking we don't have a stocking yet anyway so now I'm just going to stitch down that line there and then we need, we'll need to turn it out so I'll go ahead and get this stitched and show you what we do with it next so I've sewn it into a, a tube. Now we need to just turn that um, so that it folds back at the seam and we can give it a quick press and then we're going to top stitch that edge. So that's the lower edge of the cuff that we've uh, almost done already. Done. So I'm just going to press that seam. So it's just a lightweight batting. We don't need anything too hefty in there. Just a, even a cotton batting is good. Something just to give it a little bit of substance without uh, too much. And now we just need to top stitch around that um, seam there. So I'm just going to do that. So maybe just about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Maybe slightly more if you want to. Um, so when you've got these loopy things, you just need to keep moving it around. Other than that, pretty straightforward. So you could make one of these for everybody in the family, or all your friends, or all sorts of people. So that's basically ready to put aside now while we make the actual stocking so that we can include that in the top of the stocking. So for the stocking we're going to be lining it. So the stocking has a full lining so it's all nice and tidy inside. Um, so what we need to do is stitch the lining together. So I've already actually done the stitching on the lining but I haven't finished trimming it yet. 
So I've got my stocking pieces right sides together for the lining and I've taken a larger than quarter inch seam, um, maybe not quite as much as three eighths, but certainly a larger than quarter inch. I don't know if you can see that here. Um, I've managed to match the thread color very nicely to the fabric. And then we just need to trim it back to about an eighth of an inch all the way around. So I've done a fair bit of this, but I thought I'd just finish showing you so that you know exactly what it is I'm doing. Um, so, and this doesn't get turned, so that, that's um, fine. I just like to give it another press so that it, all the seam and everything sits nicely. But that's going to go inside the stocking as is, basically. So we can set that aside. And then we've got these pieces here. So this is the outside of the stocking. And I've got the batting with it there as well. Uh, and so all we need to do with these is place the batting behind each piece and then stitch them round. If you had wanted to quilt on them, you would want to perhaps do that first just through the batting, um, and then we can pop the lining in afterwards. I'm quite happy with it just like that. It's only a small area. It doesn't really need, it doesn't need to be quilted. You can quilt it if you want to. So then we're going to just stitch all the way around this with a quarter inch seam allowance this time. So the reason we take a slightly larger one on the lining is because it's going to be inside and we've got batting and bulk of all of this so you want the stocking lining to be slightly smaller than the outside otherwise it'll really scrunch up on the inside which isn't particularly helpful. So this is just regular with a quarter inch seam around here. So I'll go ahead and get this done. So I've stitched all the way around. I'm just trimming the seam, more to neaten it than anything, but I am taking just a little bit of the width off because we are turning this one inside out and, and it does create a bit of bulk if there's a, a great big amount in there and with the batting as well. So I'm really just sort of tidying, well, you'd think I'd be tidying that. That was the theory. So we don't need any of those little bits. Um, the other thing too, when you've got all these curves going on, particularly any curves that are inside because they're going to become outside when we turn it out the right way, and even though it's only a small seam allowance, you just need to clip in. Don't clip your stitching, but clip into the little curve. So anywhere where there's little curves, it'll just help it sit better when we turn it out the right way. So even though these curves are quite gentle, we probably could not cut some of these but I think it's a good idea to to do it so I think that's probably enough now we can turn it out the right way I just want to push it right out and then run your finger or something around the seam to just encourage that curve and edge to sit really nicely. Then we're going to give it a little press to further encourage it. So much fun making all these things. So we've got a stocking made now and so we can pop the lining inside. So remember the lining is still inside out because that's the way it will be. So you want to get the toe to go right down into the toe of the stocking. So if my hand fits in there's every chance yours will. I have reasonably large hands. I just want to get that right down in there as far as it'll go. It's looking pretty good. Turn that heels in. And sometimes you've got to fiddle a little bit till it's all in properly. It certainly helps that we've made a slightly larger seam on the, the lining because it will just sit inside 
that much better. And if it really does start wanting to stick out too much at the top, you can always just trim just a fraction off. But I think in general it will fit in. Just uh, even drop a couple of things inside to sort of weight it in so that it goes right into the shape. Um, and you'll find it should fit pretty nicely. That's fitting pretty well there. So again, I'll give it a, just another quick little press because I like it look when it looks nice and flat. So we've got those raw edges um, all pretty much level there, which is great. We've got raw edges leveled there. Now, if you're going to put a little hanging loop on, now would be the time to make the loop. So that's just a strip of fabric that I folded. I folded it in half and then I folded the raw edges into the center and folded that over. So that just needs a couple of lines of stitching just to hold it all together. So I can go ahead and do that. So to include the loop, I found that the best way was to just have the back seams, your lining and your back seam of your stocking together, and then just position that right over that back seam so that it kind of hangs out at that point. And then I'm, I just would suggest that you pop a little bit of a stitch in. You could just pin it, but if it's stitched in place, it won't move when we go to put the cuff on and so it's probably just as easy to do a little stitch on it now. So I've got a loop sitting in there ready now. We've got these raw edges to deal to. We've got our cuff. So we know where the back of the cuff is. Not that it especially matters, but it's quite good to put it at the back seam. So the cuff is the right way out, it's that the stripe is going to be the right side. So we're going to put it right side out, inside the stocking. And we're going to match those top raw edges and the back seam. So you may want a couple of uh, pins or clips or something at this stage just to hold it. I found it's quite handy to have um, a, at least something front and back, so you may want to mark the centre front of the cuff as well. We know where the front of the stocking is because there's a seam there. So that we can pop a pin in. Let's just keep those edges together. Um, so that we've got it pinned halfway round and it just helps hold it all together as much as anything because it all kind of wants to escape. So that should all fit in. It will be fairly um, full inside there. I think we're doing pretty well here. Just going to convince it that it needs to be in there. And it's getting the hang of it now. So these raw edges should all be together around the top here. And we're just going to stitch with our quarter inch seam allowance all the way around. And then we're going to pull that cuff out and it's going to be amazing. So I'll go ahead and do this. So just keep an eye on those edges, make sure they haven't all moved or anything when you weren't watching. So 
so that's pretty uh, pretty good now um, you could you don't need to trim that seam or anything it's ready to go so now we can pull that cuff out and turn it over and pull our loop out how amazing is that we've just got to do some top stitching and we will be done so I just need to press that now so you just want to press that top edge open so by doing it the way we have our raw edges are in there and we're going to top stitch around the edge so that there's just no raw edges anywhere these are great it means that they're reasonably hardy they don't uh, have a lot of fray bits sticking out anywhere or anything like that so we just want that seam up there to sit out nicely and we can press it here like this all the way around Keep that top edge looking nice there. And done. So now I can just top stitch around that and I'm going to do that. Now you, normally I like to top stitch so that my stitching, I'm stitching onto the top piece. However, I could turn the stocking inside out to do that, but I think on something like this we can stitch it from the inside and it works just as well. So now that I am going to stitch about three-eighths of an inch in this time, so a little bit more than that quarter inch, just to make sure all of that seams in, and it's quite a big cuff, so it can cope with it a little bit like that. So, just have to gently roll it around as we go. Keep that edge sitting nicely at the top. And we are nearly done. So now I'm ready for my mandarin, my chocolate bar, maybe some coloured pencils, maybe some a nice new toothbrush, maybe some little nice little undies, something special, a little bottle of perfume maybe. And then more things can I think of that I could easily fit in there. So that's our stocking, all nice and tidy in there. Plenty of room for lots of goodies without there being too much room because sometimes if they're too big you don't know what you're going to fill it up with. So that was our little stocking, a little fun size stocking this time. Um, as I said, you could applique it, you could make the cuff a, a fraction shorter if you liked. I quite like that, it kind of looks a bit like a boot. Um, so there's lots of things you can do to a stocking or leave them fairly simple because I think they're just about as effective, nice and simple. So that was our fun stocking. I will see you again with Christmas idea number 18.